Hey guys, welcome back. I am back with a grocery haul from our local co-op as well as the local farmer's market that's indoor this season and the grocery store. You can't forget about the regular grocery store. So yeah, this is all the yummy stuff that I got. I'm excited to share with you. So let's start with these tortillas. I got these. Um, we use them for desserts as well as breakfast burritos. So sometimes I take almond butter and what I'll do is make some date uh, paste and I spread it on there and they have really good ingredients so I'm really excited about this because it's something that Zoe can eat and it's gluten free so yeah look forward to hopefully some tutorials on that then I have local cheese from a farm I've actually been to it's a sharp cheddar cheese um, I'm not a big dairy person but every once in a while I like cheese with crackers or a grilled cheese sandwich with this pregnancy and it's just a nice yummy snack that I can just bite into real quick on the go simple all right so that's the cheese next is oh, I love cashews we always get like a nut or a seed so this week was cashews I love it from the bulk section because it's cheaper you don't pay for packaging and it's organic two and two you can't beat that and also from the bulk section we got oatmeal gluten-free oats we make them every morning overnight oats it's a staple in this household so we always have to have oatmeal. There's no way around it. So we got those. And then, of course, another staple is this amazing coconut palm sugar. I use it to bake. I use it sometimes and take a spoon out of it. It's nice because it's really not that sweet. That's the interesting thing about it. And it's low glycemic. So if you're a diabetic or if you're trying to cut back on sugar, it's a great alternative to honey or maple syrup or refined sugar so I use this actually in my overnight oats so it's a really good one all right so next is from the grocery store I got two things of organic spinach hopefully it's organic nowadays everything is organic so who knows what's true um, I use these in my smoothies I make smoothies once twice a day sometimes even three times a day I add sea moss to them so I figured um, spinach will be my green of choice for this week Next, the grapefruit. Um, I just wanted a grapefruit. I saw the store and thought it'd be cool. Bell pepper, always just throw it into things. It adds a nice sweet tartiness to it. Then I have my bananas. I have frozen ones, but these are green. So I'm going to give these to Zoe's for snacks and all that great stuff that bananas do. Bok choy. We love bok choy in this house. It's a staple. It, while it's in season at least um i like to saute them and then put eggs on top and it makes a great green to go with your breakfast food i try to do a one two three rule where i eat greens in the morning so that's my first green two greens in the afternoon and three for dinner so that's why there's lots of greens here bok choy turnip greens i have three bundles probably free some but turnip greens with a little bit of just Dijon mustard, some onions and or scallions and some fresh garlic will change your life. You got to try it. It's so good. I can't wait to make them for dinner. Then I have lots of onions. These were only a dollar from the local farmer. So I'm going to probably use these in the turnip greens and just I always use onions when I cook. So these little onions are perfect. So again, I might use them on the turnips and the bok choy as well. All right. Ooh, the squash. I'm sorry, but I don't know the name. But when we were at the local farmer's market, the man who was selling it to us told us that he made a pie out of it and everyone thought it was pumpkin pie, but better. So I'm guessing it's sweeter than pumpkin pie. I'm not sure how much brown sugar and sugar he put in the pie, but I'm going to give it a try. I'll let you guys know how it goes. I might just bake it and cut it up and just eat them like how I eat butternut squash. So I'll keep you posted. But if you know the name, put it below because I need to know the name of the squash. All right, next are eggs. I bought two dozen. We eat eggs for breakfast like crazy people. So I figured why not get local eggs from chickens that I've seen in person and keep it safe. <laughs> so yeah, two dozen eggs. I should have probably got three because we go through them that fast but you live and you learn all right almond butter I put these in my smoothies 
or this in my smoothies. Um, it's just a staple. I make almond milk out of it. All you need is that and some water. Almond milk. It's done. It's organic. No preservatives. All right. Um, dates. Oh, I'll put this in the almond milk as well. But dates with some almond butter will change your life. It's like nature's natural Snickers. You got to try it. And it's just a great alternative to sugar and junk. So try out dates. They probably should be organic, but organic was a little bit too expensive for us. So um, maybe next time <laughs> we're on a budget here. <laughs> All right. So what else do we have? So that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this grocery haul and I hope you um, come back for more. I'll be having a cloth diaper haul for our next video next Wednesday. So please subscribe, share this with your friends, and make sure you come back. Oh yeah, and also give me a great thumbs up if possible. Um, well, if you like the video. And comment below on some of the things that you went shopping for this week. Take care.